reporter Lori Penko has been gauging the situation there along the North Shore. They won't know for sure until the light of day, but at this point, the city says it appears the only thing that dampened the Kenny Chesney concert this time around was the weather. Piles of garbage littering some of the rows in the parking lots around Heinz Field. Others lined with neatly packaged garbage bags given to Kenny Chesney fans with tickets as they came in. At this point, the city says it appears it's not nearly as bad as the Chesney concert two years ago where tailgaters, some of whom came without tickets just to party, left thousands of pounds of garbage behind, including human waste. It was a big embarrassment to uh, the Kenny Chesney organization. It was a very big embarrassment to Heinz Field, uh, to the parking lot operators, and to the city of Pittsburgh. And I think the fans realize that. Opening the parking lots three hours later than last time, stepping up patrols, including mounted police who try to clear the lots of all fans at concert time, all being credited with making the difference. Also, lots of cooperative fans who dodged a big storm, lightning strikes, and waited patiently outside a couple hundred porta potties. The lines have been pretty long for the porta potty, but it doesn't matter. There's been rain, there's been sun, there's been more rain. And we've all just still had a good time. It's a good organization. Everyone's out here trying to have fun. Obviously, you don't want your city tore up. You want to be out here having a good time. And that's what we're trying to do. And, you know, everybody needs to participate in it if they want this to keep going on and can't need to keep coming back. The state police said they cited 17 people for underage drinking here at Heinz Field. But no other serious arrests reported in the crowd of some 55,000. Reporting on the North Shore, Laurie Penko, Pittsburgh's Action News 4. Okay, Laurie, thanks. Be sure to share your photos from tonight's show using the hashtag WTAE. We'll add them to our slideshow. You can also upload them via ULocal on WTAE.com. Hundreds of them already online tonight.